Adam, uh, yes. is it going to be, you know, hummingbird weather for us this week? Or what is, is it gonna hummingbird be weather? I didn't know. I mean, I think it's sunny with maybe a little rain. Okay, I think perfect. so. There I you think go. we're going to go okay. with that because you have to have the rain for the plants in order for the nectar to continue to blossom and bloom. You really sound plant. like you know what you're That's talking it. about. I, you know, I'm just going off the top of my head right now. You know, <laughs> it's I, working. I, I, I don't know <laughs> anything Sounds about right. plants at all. But, hey, I do know they need water. I do know they need sunshine. And, well, we might get a little water today in the form of rain, but it's not going to be a whole lot and not everyone is going to see it. So we'll have those spotty areas of drizzle and rain here as we go throughout mainly the morning hours. The afternoon we might see a bit more and I think we're going to see that mainly across parts of the foothills and along the coast. Now the cooler weather that's going to come along with this highs in the 70s. That's today and heading into the day tomorrow. But then by the time we head into the day on Friday and on through the weekend, things start to heat up and we get to see more of that sunshine on the way. Our Westport camera right here. You can see it kind of looks pretty dreary and wet right as we head out the door this morning. Uh, we do have some light rain that is there and it's going to be a bit of a dreary day for us all together uh, there in that location. And for us in Seattle, rain might be hard to come by, but there is a very it's extremely small chance, but we're going to say mainly cloudy here for the day and then we'll start to see more of that sun towards the very end of the afternoon temperatures right now for us sitting in the 50s. We got 55 in Bremerton sitting right now in the mid 50s in Olympia mid 50s also in Mount Vernon and closer to 60 in um, parts of Bellingham as we're currently sitting at 59. There's the rain. You can see that moving northward now along the foothills as we are seeing some light showers closer to North Bend and Snoqualmie and getting closer to Enumclaw and down towards Buckley in Edenville. This uh, will continue in that same general direction as far as any sort of movement back towards the west closer to Puget Sound uh, going to be tough to come by again. But we have this other little weak feature that area of low pressure spinning there across parts of the Pacific that might help to enhance a few more raindrops closer to the coast. On into the night, we'll see those clouds around for us and probably they're going to thicken up again. While those of us closer to the coast will stay completely cloudy, we'll see more of the clouds tonight and we'll keep a decent amount of the clouds around as we head on into the day for tomorrow too. So for the forecast, I expect for most of us just to see the cloudy skies, some possible areas of drizzle as we go throughout today, drier for tomorrow and then drier with more sunshine and warming back up as we head into the weekend. Time right now, 519.